Is wildlife a favorite topic of yours? Just curious. Well, let's begin. The razorbill, razorbilled auk, or lesser auk is a colonial seabird in the monotypic genus Alca of the family Alcidae, the ox. It is the closest living relative of the extinct great auk. Wild populations live in the subarctic waters of the Atlantic Ocean. Razorbills are primarily black with a white underside. The male and female are identical in plumage, however, males are generally larger than females. This agile bird, which is capable of both flight and diving, has a predominantly aquatic lifestyle and only comes to land in order to breed. It is monogamous, choosing one partner for life. Females lay one egg per year. Razorbills nest along coastal cliffs in enclosed or slightly exposed crevices. The parents spend equal amounts of time incubating, and once the chick has hatched, they take turns foraging for their young. The razorbill has a white belly and a black head, neck, back, and feet during the breeding season. A thin white line also extends from the eyes to the end of the bill. Its head is darker than that of a common mur. During the non-breeding season, the throat and face behind the eye become white, and the white line on the face and bill becomes less prominent. The bill is black, deep and laterally compressed, with a blunt end. It has several vertical grooves or furrows near the curved tip, one of them adorned with a white, broken vertical line. The bill is thinner and the grooves are less marked during the non-breeding season. It is a large and thick-set bird. The female and male adults are very much alike, having only small differences such as wing length. During incubation, this species has a horizontal stance, and the tail feathers are slightly longer in the center in comparison to other alcids. This makes the razorbill have a distinctly long tail, which is not common for an auk. In flight, the feet do not protrude beyond the tail. The life history traits of the razorbill are similar to that of the common myrrh. However, razorbills are slightly more agile. During breeding, both males and females protect the nest. Females select their mate and will often encourage competition between males before choosing a partner. Once a male is chosen, the pair will stay together for life. Individuals only breed at three to five years of age. As pairs grow older they will occasionally skip a year of breeding. A mating pair will court several times during breeding periods to strengthen their bond. Courtship displays include touching bills and following one another in elaborate flight patterns. Once the pre-laying period begins, males will constantly guard their mates by knocking other males away with their bills. Razorbills dive deep into the sea using their semi-folded wings and their streamlined bodies to propel themselves toward their prey. They keep their feet spread. While diving, they rarely stay in groups but rather spread out to feed. During a single dive, an individual can capture and swallow many schooling fish, depending on their size. The diet is very similar to that of a common myrrh or common guillemot. It consists generally of midwater schooling fish such as capelin, sand lance, juvenile cod, sprats, and herring. It may also include crustaceans and polychaetes. The adult razorbill has several predators which include polar bears, great black-backed gulls, peregrine falcons, ravens, crows, and jackdaws. The general predators of their eggs are gulls and ravens. The best chance for adult razorbill to avoid predation is by diving. Arctic foxes can also predate significant numbers of adults, eggs, and chicks in some years. Now, let's listen to its call. Beautiful, isn't it? I am glad that you could spend some time for these wonderful animals. Take care, God bless.